Well, no longer just a warning. Today, drivers of Baltimore City car blocking intersections will be fine. That's the story everybody mm. is talking about. The practice, also known as blocking the box, carries a significant penalty. WJZ is live. George Solis is in downtown to see if drivers are getting the message. George. Yeah, guys, here we are after 5 p.m. with rain on top of that and traffic moving pretty slowly, at least right now. But it's also fair to say drivers have had pretty fair warning. Transportation officials saying that for about a month they handed out about 5,000 warnings letting them know about the Don't Block the Box campaign. They also say the timing of lights no longer a factor. In downtown Baltimore, the calm before rush hour can feel like smooth sailing for many, but that can all quickly change and with it, attitude. The warnings have always been there. Do not block intersection. Of course, as this promotional video, courtesy of the city's Department of Transportation, shows, doesn't stop drivers from doing it anyway. Well, try it now, and it could cost you big. This is a, a safety initiative for both vehicular and pedestrian traffic. It really helps to save the gridlock in some of our areas in downtown Baltimore. For about a month, transportation officials have been warning drivers of the Don't Block the Box campaign issuing thousands of citations letting them know starting Monday, October 15th, violating the law would run you a $125 ticket. The focus of the Don't Block the Box is to ensure that vehicular traffic does not engage in the crosswalk, which begins the box. The campaign doesn't come without controversy. The lights on we got through one green light, got to the next light, it was already red. Drivers and City Council President Jack Young among critics that blame part of the congestion on poorly timed traffic lights. Transportation officials say that's all been sorted. I'm very comfortable at this time that we have sync the lights in downtown Baltimore. And guys, just quickly observing here again, traffic moving pretty slowly here at the start of rush hour. But you may be wondering, how do these fines work? Well, transportation officials say they've trained their officers to move offenders in the box off to the side of the road so they can write them that $125 ticket. Live in downtown tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.